So we will now go to solving some example problems so that we could apply these formulas. Okay? So let's start with problem number one. Okay, we'll just write first the problem. Okay, so we have this problem. What is the wavelength of a carrier wave with a frequency of 100 megahertz? So we are going to solve for the wavelength. So we'll try to solve this one. So our given, so we have frequency at 100, 100 megahertz then that is a carrier wave so it is uh, part of the electromagnetic spectrum so in your physics you will you have learned that the electromagnetic spectrum also travels at the speed of light so our will velocity of the wave also known as the velocity of propagation is equal to the speed of light which is equal to 3 times 10 to the power of 8 mega, mega meters per second now this is 100 megahertz for our frequency so we will uh, extract it yeah, is extract this one into a scientific notation. So we'll extract the megahertz, uh, the mega. So this will be equal to 100 times 10 to the power of 6 hertz. Okay. So, so solving for our wavelength, so we have the formula uh, lambda is equal to. Um, VC over F and our F and our VC is equal to 3 times 10 to the power of 8 meters per second over our frequency is 100 megahertz or 100 times 10 to the power of 6 Hertz. Okay, so we could use our trusty calculator to answer to solve for this one. So we have three to the power of negative eight over one hundred to the power times ten to the power of negative six, and this is equal to three. So our wavelength is equal to three. So our unit is in meters per second and in hertz. So the unit for our wavelength will be in meters and this is now the answer to the problem okay so we will go to another problem so let's let's write the problem here
Okay, so we have this problem. A 240 volts, 25 hertz sinusoidal generator is connected to a 20 ohm resistor. Determine the current when the when the lapse time is 0 0.01 seconds. Okay. So to solve for this one, first we need to find the amplitude because we know that the formula for instantaneous current is equal to I. We have the amplitude or the peak value. Ta then we have sine 2, 2 pi F T or this sine omega T that is the value of 2 pi F T. Okay. Now we will solve first for the peak value so our im is equal to our peak voltage over the resistance or the resistor then we are going to solve for our vm we are given with the rms value so this is the rms value usually the value that has the hertz uh, attached to it that is or the frequency attached to it that is the RMS value. And we know that and we know that VRMS so we'll use the side of the equation or the side of the solution. VRMS is equal to VM over square root of 2. So if we are going to solve for Vm, so this one, we transfer this one to this side, so they will be multiplied. So Vm is equal to square root of 2 times Vrms. So we can now solve for our Vm. So Vm is equal to square root of 2 times 200. 40 volts so let's have our calculator solve this one so we have square root of 2 times 240 volts this is equal to 339.41 so restore that one sheet store so it is 339.41 we have 300 39.41 volts then we would substitute our uh, peak voltage to this equation so we can solve our peak current so our peak current is equal to vm is 339.41 39 39.41 over the resistance which is 20 ohms so this this is basically ohms law okay so we have calculator okay so we have we need to recall our a because we have stored our answer that one times 20 i divide 20 so this is equal 6.97 we have 6.97 amperes. Then we are going to get the instantaneous. So this is the maximum value of our alternating current wave. If we are going to graph the wave, so this will be the maximum value. Then we will now solve for the other part of the equation the sine 2 pi t okay so our sine 2 pi t so we will use another color for that so our 2 pi f t so our f is equal to is equal to um that is equal to 25 hertz and our t is 0 0.01 seconds so we have 2 pi times 
times 25 this is hertz then times 0 0.01 then you will then if you are going to calculate uh, get the ca the value of this one in the calculator. So we, we need to set the setting of our calculator into radian. So this is in degrees. So in degrees, so we need to change this one. So we just go to shift mode, then four to make it in radians. So you have two shift pi times twenty five times 0 0.01 and that is equal to 1.57 or 1 half pi so we just have that one as 1 half pi and if we are going to substitute this one to the formula so our sign 2 pi f T. So this is equal to sine 1 half pi Okay, so we have sine So again, the setting must be in radians 1 half shift pi So this is equal to 1 so this is equal to 1. So we could now write our i. So we'll go to blue. So our i or our instantaneous current is equal to im is 16.97 amperes. Our sine 2 pi ft is equal to 1. So times... 1. So, our instantaneous current at 0 0.01 seconds is equivalent to 16.97 amperes. And that is now our answer.